Hi, I'm Colbert Brindley with Pasco Sheriff's Office Marine Unit. It's National Safe Boating Week, and today we're going to take you along with us on our 29-foot safe boat. Part of the Marine Unit's responsibilities are to investigate derelict vessels. Here we have a 46-foot sport fish that's capsized, rolled over onto its side. At that white sign, that's slow speed, so it's minimum wake. Right. And then as you come, as you come, you see it on the on the green day board. Yeah. As you come onto the other side, it's that speed. white sign says idle speed, no wake. Okay. okay. So here's another idle speed sign. It'll say yeah, that's the one I always see. Yeah. So there's two different zones technically, but being up on plane, having your bow out of the water and the wake you were kind of creating. So we stopped that vessel for violating a slow speed zone and then we conducted a vessel safety inspection to make sure they had all their necessary equipment. You have to have the right PFDs for the amount of people on board. You have to have a throwable PFD, fire extinguishers, all that sort of equipment you have to have on board. So you're going a little fast there. Okay, we're gonna come alongside and do a safety inspection. All right, so that one while you're underway, it has to be readily available on deck. So if you, yep, that works fine. Some people wrap like the strap over around like the arm of the chair. Yeah, yeah. Just, so that way it doesn't blow away or anything like that. It's right. just an extra thing. I just got this little bit of <clears throat> Okay. Do you have a fire extinguisher on board? And conducted a safety inspection uh, where they were missing their fire extinguisher on board. Uh, luckily, because we're close to the nearest marina, they were able to go fix that correction on the spot and were issued a written warning. Thank you for following along with Pasco Sheriff's Office Marine Unit on our tweet along. It's still National Safe Boating Week, so make sure everyone out there is staying safe.